Welcome to the Guided Sculpture Walk. This digital showcase introduces the 14 outdoor sculptures of the University of Hertfordshire Art Collection, presenting an eclectic group of works that map the changing characteristics of British sculpture since the 1950s. College Plan is one of five works which inaugurated the collection. Trevor Tennant was commissioned in 1948 and produced a relief which depicts the original footprint of Hatfield Technical College. Hatfield Cairn was commissioned during Andy Goldsworthy's residency at the University. A cairn is a mound of rough stone built as a memorial or landmark. Renowned globally for his contribution to land art, Goldsworthy has made cairns since the 1980s from materials such as stone, ice and slate. Torso by John Farnham is a bronze sculpture depicting human forms with curvaceous and muscular qualities. Farnham had a lengthy apprenticeship with Henry Moore which informed his own artistic practice. Much like Moore, Farnham's works allow the colour and features of the material to dictate the final outcome. Entrance is an assemblage constructed from new and found pieces of steel. Like many sculptures produced in the 1990s, the material and process give the work an industrial feel. Entrance, however, was intended to embody motherhood, both the physical side of childbirth and the emotional responsibilities of becoming a parent and protector. This work takes the form of both sculpture and street furniture, moving beyond its core function as a bench to suggest an organic form. Its unusual material, colour and shape reflect elements from the natural world such as vertebrae, shells and rocks. Mountain is one of several artworks by Diane McLean that have resulted from collaborations with scientists working on climate change and mineralogy. The multisensory sculpture has a reflective and disorientating quality and invites people to immerse themselves within it the crunch beneath their feet echoing through the piece, which is indicative of glacial movement. Barbara Hepworth's Vertical Forms is one of the founding works of the collection. It depicts three abstracted figures, upright and interlocked, and comes from a period when Hepworth invited models to move and dance in her studio. The use of relief and curved lines demonstrate Hepworth's interest in natural forms. Nicola Hutchison is interested in developing ways for people to listen to the sounds and rhythms of their environment. The series of discrete sculptures are interactive, only come into life when struck, inviting passers-by to create their own music through the different tones of each metallic sphere. This sculpture depicts Sir Geoffrey de Havilland, an aeronautical engineer and aviation pioneer who constructed his first machine in 1909 without ever having seen an airplane in flight. De Havilland went on to design more than 50 aircrafts and in 1951 his company gave land to the Hertfordshire County Council for use as the Hatfield Technical College. Spiral Bridge was inspired by meteorological diagrams that represent the meeting of hot and cold air fronts. Bedded permanently in the ground, this sculptural intervention has literally become part of the campus landscape. The choice of caught in steel is significant. Known as weathering steel, this material forms a stable, rust-like appearance when exposed to the elements for several years. Little is known about this modest figure carved in limestone, almost lost within its wooded setting. The artist depicts the human body, abstracted in an unsophisticated, even primitive style. Alter cumulus takes its name from the meteorological term describing a cloud formation of rounded masses with a level base. The artist cleverly transforms a robust material into a delicate, ornate archway. The sculpture is light-dependent, sometimes almost translucent in the sunlight, sometimes projecting dramatic shadows across the landscape. 
Located amongst living trees of similar height, this bespoke palm tree is well camouflaged and potentially tricks the viewer. The assemblage unites metal components from scrap cars, opening up questions about the role trees play in our ecosystem and the impact of fuel emissions on the natural world. Our latest sculpture, Diablo, was donated to the collection in 2020. It is based on the form of the ancient Chinese spinning toy. The colour of the material is created by daylight entering a clear oxide on the surface of the curved and polished stainless steel at varying angles. Thank you for joining us on this tour. An interactive sculpture map and further information can be found on our website.